The first step to making your porthole mirror trio set is going to make your cam.com. Once you're there, you can um, zoom in, zoom out, um, but you're going to want to open your SVG file that you downloaded from our site. Once that's open, you can kind of drag it around um, to the origin point you want to use. I like to use mine in like the upper right hand corner. You can zoom in once you get it all set up. You use this hand to move around. Use this cursor to highlight your um, toolpaths. So if this is too big for your Shiboko setup, you can delete either the largest mirror frame or um, the two largest, or if you just want the large one, you can delete the middle ones. Um, but basically, you can cut them all in the one file if you do it correctly. So the way to do that is to first, we're gonna, the first thing we're going to want to cut is the keyholes. So highlight those and set them as a uh, pocket operation. Name it something that you'll remember. And um, our tool diameter is going to be uh, 0.125. If yours is different, um, check that. Our target depth is going to be 0.4. And our safety height is going to be 125. 0.125. Step down, 0 0.03125, feed rate of 30, and plunge rate of 10. So basically that's going to be our same settings, except you're going to change the depth depending on what we need to do for that cut. So the next thing we're going to cut is um, the inside um, profile of the smallest frame. So to do that, we're going to go to Profile Operation, name it something that we'll remember. The tool diameter is going to be the same, 0.125. Target depth is going to be um, negative 0.74. We're going to want um, to set this to inside so our bit follows the red line on the inside. Um, safety height, 0.125, and step down, 0 0.03125. Fee rate of 30, plunge rate of 10. So next is like the lip for the, the smallest clock. And the way we're going to do that is um, highlighted and it's going to be another profile operation but instead of having it go all the way to the bottom um, which is what you usually do with a profile operation we're going to set it to only go down an eighth of an inch so what that's going to do is just follow that red line um, until it goes down an eighth of an inch and then we can fit our acrylic right in the back so we want to make sure that it's set on the inside to cut on the inside of the line um, that way the two profiles will overlap and create a lip. Um, so the tool paths are the same other than setting the depth. So now I want to do um, this line which is the outside of the small clock and the inside cut of, of the larger clock, of the medium clock rather, excuse me. So um, again it's profile cut, name it something you'll remember. Tool diameter is the same. Our target depth on this is going to go all the way through the material, so negative 0.74. We want to keep it on the outside of the red line, so keep that on the outside. Safety height is 0.125. Step down is the same, 0 0.03125. Feed rate of 30 and plunge rate of 10. So again, um, to make the lip, we're going to highlight that circle. And it's going to be a profile. Name it something that you'll remember. The tool diameter is going to be the same. Um, and again, we're going to make the target depth negative 0.125 and have that go on the inside of that red line. Safety height is the same, uh, step down is the same, 0 0.03125, feed rate and plunge rate is the same of 30 and 10. And once again, we're going to do the same steps here. Um, it's going to be another profile operation. Um, name it something handy. The tool diameter is going to be 0.125. Um, the target depth negative 0.74 because we want it to go through the material. We want it to follow the outside of the line. Uh, safety height, step down, feed rate, and plunge rate are the same. And then again we're going to do um, the same process for creating that lip which is going to be another profile operation. Um, you know, again, name it something you remember. Tool diameter is the same. Our target depth on this again is negative 0.125 because we want to be able to place the material in there. We want to follow the inside of the line for this one. Um, the step down 
uh, feed rate and plunge rate are all the same. So next we're going to cut out uh, the final tool path, the outside of our large clock. Um, and again, that's going to be the same steps as cutting a profile that goes completely through the material. Um, so name it something you'll remember. Tool diameter is going to be the same. Target depth, negative 0.74. Uh, we want it to follow the outside of the line for this one. We want to have a safety height of a, a 0.125 and our step down 0 0.03125, feed rate of 30, plunge rate of 10. So now you want to go to CAM and calculate all. So this is going to allow you to see your actual, like where the bit will travel. You can view your cuts to kind of make sure that there's not red line where it shouldn't be. Um, and now the next step is to add tabs. So we're going to want to add tabs to um, a couple certain places here. You want to highlight that inside circle. Um, and hit uh, cam, add tabs to selected. So if we put a tab every three inches, that's um, 0.25 by 0.25. That's what's going to come up. Um, so that looks pretty good.